Hi everyone, welcome to my Core 3 OCR June 2011 paper. We're going to look at question 8. If we read the question, it's a very wordy question and it's about exponentials, substances, things changing. So, an experiment involves two substances, substance 1 and substance 2. Their masses are changing. The mass m1 of substance 1 at time t hours is given by m1 equals 400 e to minus 0.14 t. The mass m2 of substance 2 is increasing exponentially and it's shown in the table how that's happening. At a critical stage in the experiment at t hours, it's a key word here, t hours the masses of the two substances are the same, are equal. So let's go back, looking at our keywords again. This is M1 and this is M2. So looking at our question, find the rate at which a mass of substance 1 is decreasing when t equals 10. Give your answer in grams per hour, correct to two significant figures. So this is a case of using the formula that we're given for substance 1, finding the rate of change. When we're talking about rate of change, we're talking about differentiating. So the rate of change of substance 1 with respect to time, we're going to get by differentiating 400e to minus 0.014t. Now, when you differentiate an exponential, you get the same thing again. You get e to minus 0.14t. However, we have to use the chain rule and we have to times by the differential of the function inside, aka this function in the power. So we do 400 times by minus 0.014 and we get minus 28 over 5. Minus 28 over 5. Now it wants to know when t equals 10. So when t is 10, we're going to put the number 10 into this expression. So on your calculator, you can type in minus 28 over 5 times by e to the power of minus 0.014 times 10. So that is minus 4.9 grams per hour. Show that t is the root of an equation of the form e to the kt equals c, where the values of the constants k and c are to be stated. That means that we need an expression for m2. We've got an expression for m1. If we get an expression for m2 as well and set them equal, that will show us um, the values of constants at that special time t. So what we're going to do is we're going to think if this substance 2 is increasing exponentially, it too is going to have e to something power of t. So this is the basics of what exponential growth means. It has something to do with the exponential increasing it and your value t is in the power of e. Okay, it doesn't actually have to be e, but there you go. Now we're forgetting that we could have something multiplied in front of the e. And we could have something multiplied in front of t. So we need to put those constants in just in case they're not 1, which they probably won't be. Now this is called your in initial condition here, that t equals 0 when the mass of a substance is 75. So m2 is 75 when um, a e to the b times 0, which is 0, e to the 0 is 1, so a is 75. So we figured out that value rather quickly. Now, when t equals 10 hours, the mass m2 of the substance is 120. So we sub in 120 for m2, and we sub in 10 for t. 
Now we want to solve this to find the value of the unknown b. So we divide by 75 on both sides to get the answer of 8 over 5. And we now take ln of both sides, ln of 8 over 5 is 0 0.47, etc. And then we want to divide by 10 to get that b equals 0 0.047. That completes our working out for the equation of the substance M2 by putting 0 0.047 here. So, moving on with the question, at this special time t, put these two equations together, so 400e to the minus 0.014, and this time big T, because they're the same at this instant, equals 75e to the 0.047 big T. We want it in the form asked for in the question, where we've just got an exponential with a number times t, and the power equals another constant. So we want to divide by 75 on both sides of the equation, and we want to times up by this, e to the 0.014t. Okay, the reciprocal of that, if you want to be precise. So 400 over 75 equals, using your power laws, e, add the powers when you times, e to the 0.061t. So, to give this expression, we just do 400 divided by 75 on our calculator, and we get the answer that e to the 0.061t equals 16 over 3, aka k equals 0.061, and c equals 16 over 3. They're the unknown constants from the question. Final part, trying to solve this equation part three so as i was about to say we take ln of both sides which is the inverse of exponential and then we just divide by 0 0.061 so t equals ln of 16 over 3 all over 0 0.061 and if you put that on your calculator you're going to get the answer that t equals 27.4 hours to three significant figures. So a very wordy, a very applied question there. I hope it's made some sense and I hope it's helpful. Good luck in the rest of your maths work.